All right, what's up, YouTube? Oh, so today I'm doing my uh, third video on my um, 46 grain Winchester hollow point bullets, and I am using the 5744 accurate powder and Ramshot Exter Exterminator powder. So, um, I from my previous videos, my best results um, so far have been for the accurate 5744. 18 grains and 18.2 and then from x terminator is 24.2 grains so we're going to go ahead and load up <clears throat> some rounds <coughs> excuse me of those three rounds per um i'm going to try to get away from those five uh five shot grouping um for these rounds i'm not going to be shooting five shots they're for a coyote round um a little varmint round it's going to be you know two to three shots max right so I'm just going to do three shots. There's no point of doing a five shot grouping. Um, the, although these 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 uh, charge loads shot pretty well with, I think these ones are the ones that shot under an inch with the five shot grouping. My brass is already prepped. I've already got it sized. Primer in there. Um, chamfered and deburred. Um, I bought an annealer that's going to be coming in, so I'm pretty stoked for that. So I'm going to be annealing my brass after this. This is uh, Lake City Brass. This is on my I'm on my third firing for these. Um, it's the same brass I used for my last testing. So uh, yeah, let's um, let's get in and see if we can uh, get some powder measured and see how it works. So first off, we're doing the 5744. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this. Oops. Gonna be able to get this to work right. Let's see here. There we go. Freaking cameras. I'm not very good with them. Um, so we are running. Let's go from this end. This is my little horny scale. Um, we're running the 5744. And let's see, can we see that okay? We can. So we're gonna zero our scale, and we're going with 18 grains for our first one. I'm gonna go ahead and put some in there. Oh wow, dead on. I couldn't even got plan that better if I wanted to. So we're going to do that. Dump our charge in. And then do our next one. I don't know, sweetie. Go ahead and play the stickers. Yep. What? I want to play this big one. No, not with the big ones. Small ones, okay? I, I, I did. Okay, just the small ones, okay? Sorry, guys. I got my, my daughter with me. Alright. 18 grains. This is very tedious. We're just going to load up these, these three at 18 grains. Show you guys how I do it. Um, it's real simple. Just kind of talk about it. Um, my main thing is, is I'd really love to see if I can get uh, like three quarter inch group out of one of these charge weights. It'd be awesome. Uh, and that would be my goal. Oh, what did I just get there? 18.1. Let's start over. So, um, that's my goal. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be shooting probably max 200 yards around where I live. Um, so a three quarter inch group with one of these, it's going to kill a coyote, going to kill a raccoon, um, going to kill anything like that. So I'll be happy getting that. All right, come on, 18 grains. Um, I thought about, I've been thinking about trying the Varget powder. I just came across a really good deal on some Varget powder. So I've been thinking about doing that, but we'll see. Um, all right, we got one more to do 18. But uh, if you guys got any suggestions on powder to try this with, um, let me know. I'll see if I can find some data on it. Um, like I said, I couldn't find data on this, so I this with these powders. So I've kind of gone and made it my own. I have not been able to find overall length, so I made it my own. I believe my overall length. Um, I posted it before. I can't remember exactly what it is. We'll measure it here once we got it set. I already got my my uh, die set. Um, so all right, eighteen. Bam, right there. Okay. So we've got our three, three quarter 
three charges loaded up. We're gonna come over here to the seating die. I already, like I said, I've already got it set. We'll try this out, and we're we're going to seat some bullets. Put it in there. Big key. Try to get that feeding up there as straight as possible. All right. There we go. Seated. Um, it's not very far down there. You can definitely hear powder in there. So that's something I've been thinking about is, is moving my bullet further down and further down. But I don't know. We'll see. They've been shooting um, pretty well. So we'll see. And then here's our, I'll give you our overall length here. Let's see here. So one point, or sorry, 2.192 is our overall length. And then I think I'm, I think I got them pretty much. Let's see, can I get that on camera good enough? Yeah, I've got them within, I think all with all like two thou of each other when I've been reloading. So I'm pretty happy with that. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and load the rest of these up. And then um, you'll see some footage at the range. I think I'm gonna actually set the camera right next to the target so we can see it on impact, see which ones are hitting where. Um, I don't have a second camera yet, so I'm not gonna have one of me shooting, but I think I'm just gonna put it down at the target. So, all right guys, I'm gonna finish loading these up and we'll see at the range. All right guys, I got set up 100 yards. We're gonna shoot these three spots, three shots each. We got the Acura 5744 18 grain, Acker 57, 44, 18.2 grain, and the X Terminator at 24.2. So, walk back to my table and we'll see how this goes. All right, what's up YouTube? We're back from the range, and I'm happy to say we saw some, I saw a good result. I'm pretty sure you guys saw it too, because you guys saw the firing, right? So, um, let's get into it. I'm super happy. I'm pretty sure I found a load that I'm gonna work with. So, we're going with accurate 5744, 18 grains, right? Okay. I got a .270 group. Three shots, excellent, excellent, excellent. And you you guys saw in the video of me actually shooting kind of how fast I shot because that's pretty much how it's gonna be in real life, right? If I'm shooting a coyote, I'm not taking time between each shot five minutes, right? It's like max, you know, minimum probably 15 seconds, maximum probably 30 seconds, right? 
Um, I got an average velocity of 3,019 feet per second when a standard deviation of four feet per second. So I got a really, really good results with that. And then we go on to the Acura 5744 with 18.2 grains. And my group just opened right up, right? I got a 1.154 um, with my velocity at 3,162 feet, my standard deviation of 16, right? So we're gonna scratch that. That's nothing to write home about, right? And then my last three I did was the ram shot exterminator was 24.2 grains and I got a 1.570 group. You can see they just vertical, you know, horizontally just strung right there. Um, and I got 3,362 feet per second and standard, standard deviation of seven feet per second. So um, I think I found the load that I wanna go with and it's gonna be that Acura 5744 with 18 grains. Um, it's traveling above 3,000 feet per second, leaving the barrel, fantastic. 100 yards, I shot um, basically a quarter inch, a quarter inch group with it. I'm super happy with that. Three shots, I'm gonna kill a coyote all day long at that range. Uh, a squirrel, I'm gonna kill a squirrel all day long at that range. Um, it, was, it was really good shooting conditions today. No wind, um, 72 degrees, um, humidity I think was like 35%, so it was just a beautiful day at the range. Um, so, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm tempted to try two other powders with this bolt and see how it goes, but it's gonna be pretty hard to beat um this right this charge right here so um i'm shooting out of uh, aero precision built ar-15 i built it all myself aero lower um aero um actually it's got a, a a bcem uh lower parts kit with a uh, enhanced lower trigger in it um 16 inch barrel uh rifle link gas system in it and it's it's been an accurate gun i'm shooting with a three by nine a nikon scope and I've been happy with it. And I'm super happy with those results. Um, I'm stoked to see where this is gonna take me next. Um, see where I'm gonna go with the next videos. Maybe some 300 blackout, I'm not sure. Um, but guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you guys next time.